Hello and welcome to the very first lecture of GNU plot. So this is your GNU plot window. If you use uh, Linux, then this looks little bit different, but uh, the very basic uh, commands will be the same. Don't worry about it. We'll start from functions. You might have already know from your basic mathematics knowledge that there are very simple functions are there. Say if you plot y equals to x versus x, you will just get a straight line. If you plot x square, you should get this type of, this is called parabola, parabolic plot. So anything which is a function of x, x square, x cube, linear combinations of them with constants, these are called algebraic functions. This is sine function, you know, sine start at x equals to 0, it is 0, and it goes with a period. Cos starts at x equals to 0, it starts with 1. And this looks exactly same with a little bit of shifting, you know, starting from x equals to 0, it's 0, and x root to 0, it's 1. This is exponential functions that if you plot e to the power x versus x, it should look like this. At negative, it will goes to decrease, 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 goes to 0 at x tends to infinity, but never touches uh, the axis. And inversely, if you plot e to the power x, it looks like this. So there are many other functions. Functions generally categorized as sinusoidal functions trigonometric functions, algebraic functions, logarithmic functions, exponential functions, hyperbolic functions. So in due course, you will be slowly uh, introduced to all the functions. So what GNU plot with GNU plot, what we can do is, we can plot functions. How do I plot this? If I plot just x square, so I write it as x star x you can write or x to the power 2 I write it x to the power 2 so if I just make an enter there so I get like this <coughs> you can see that the your range that x range is minus 10 to plus 10 and y range is 0 to 100 it is automatically decided by the program. We can do it manually. We'll do it later. But this is uh, the first introduction. So this is plot x square. If I plot the same x square, but I make a line width a little bit higher. But it looks like a very uh, thin line. Okay, make it LW4. Oh, what happens? becoming thicker okay so if i plot with lw6 it's getting thicker and thicker so you can change with all the whatever you need and whatever fits and whatever asked in the exam you just do that okay so then i can plot other functions plot say x cube with say lw4 so this x cube looks like this axis i will show but without the axis it won't uh, be that much insightful so how to how to show the axis it say set x zero I might set as nest set x zero axis set y zero axis then if I plot the same thing you see 
that you you have a thin line of your axis okay i can make this line how i am getting the old uh, command i am just using keyboard arrow keyboard up and keyboard down so this is up this is down so if i plot the set x y 0 axis lw4 set x0 axis lw4 then I, if i plot it again i get a thicker lines there so then you can clearly see your zero axis and the plots of x q the function is written there so i can change this format uh, writing format also so in one class small things right so how do I plot sine functions? Okay. Plot. First line, first letter is sometimes getting skipped. I don't know why. Sine x l w four. This is sine s. <clears throat> At x equals to zero, it's zero. And it's setting a trick. All your uh, ranges are automatically decided. Most of the cases, this is minus 10 to plus 10. Okay. And this is in radian. This is not in theta. This axis by default is in radian. So, okay. I'm not saving a way, saving the graphs or etc. You will slowly, will slowly do. But in the very first class, we just have an idea. And my first letter is sometimes getting skipped. I type P, but the P is not the W4. I use a bracket and always do use a bracket when you use sine, cos, or hyperbolic or something. So, you're slowly getting adjusted with this. So, this is cos. Cos start with this. So, say I want to plot sine and cos in the same graph. Can I do it? I think I this will not work. Okay, there are many other things, but if it works, then it's fine. Uh, no, it's, it's plotting only the sign. So, okay, so what I do is for if I want to plot two groups in the same graph, so I define fx equals to sine x and some other function gx cos x. Then if it's getting very bottom line, you can, you can just make a little bit adjustment. Okay. okay so look here so then if i plot if i think if x comma gx yeah so one line is getting thin and one line is thick because i need to mention lw4 separately there i'll do that your fx is this fx is sine the gx is cos so two graphs in the same function so i should write lw for both i can choose colors also you'll see there lw4 gx lw4 line width now both the graphs with same uh, width same width of this line okay so fx and gx like this two function in a same graph i think my first command was also okay with a comma i guess okay let's try it again plot sine x lw4 comma cos x uh, w4 it work yeah this works perfectly 
So if you don't define your, in general, it's a good practice to define two, three functions uh, if you need to plot in the same graph separately because uh, those functions will may not be in this very simple form of sine x or cos x. It will be complicated uh, in your exam. So, but uh, if you need a very simple to plot a very simple function, you can just uh, write the function sine x or w4, cos x or w4. So then uh, it is an x square and x cubed, say if I plot x square in the same graph, and x cube in the same graph, x to the power 4 in the same graph, so you can use comma, it's very simple. So they are plotted with a very high range because of course x to the power 4 will be very large. So if we uh, range of your y will be very high if we get minus 10 to 10. So then uh, I, it will not be very easy to have a physical insight of x to the power 4 x square with this range. So we can make this x range and y range as we wish to. So okay, it will, the ranges will be in the next graph. So this first uh, first lesson is dedicated to just have a view of the functions. So how to and the, how to write the functions, of course. So you know, how to write uh, this exponential x plot. Anyway, this p is not coming in the when I am typing just p. I don't know why. Maybe this p key has got some carbon deposited on there. Or the key actually. So what I do? x x p x w4. This works. Uh, at x negative it's very near to the line and it's getting high. As x increases, it's getting very high. So by default, its x range is minus 10 to plus 10. So we'll change the ranges. So initially, I just plot this exponential minus x. It's the same thing with an opposite. So at negative x, it's coming this, like this. So at negative, it increases and decreases. Uh, you are not uh, visualizing this decrease. We will visualize when we uh, just change the ranges. That will be in the next lesson. Okay, how to then, you have many other functions. Plot, so what will be, let's try with log. In the two so this is log I forgot to give that LW so it looks thin this is a normal log thicker log at LW4 will this LNX work No, this log is the log basis ln normal. So if I need to write the log base 10, I think I think I need to use uh, something else. So the, don't worry, we have all the commands defined in GeoNewPlot. You get a list of the command in itself or if you do a simple Google search, you'll get uh, all these things. Okay. So log is done, cos is done, sine is done. Hyperbolics will also be done, no issues. So now I end this very first lesson. In the next lesson, I will do the same things with my x ranges and y ranges are self-determined, determined by us. So do practice 
and have a Google search on list of GNU plot functions or how to write functions, different functions in GNU plot. So just play, play it around. Write any type of functions you want to write and have a plot without the ranges, at least the default ranges you will do. Okay. Bye-bye.